Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Friar Chuck here, back with a, another legendary items guide. This one is for the liquid cooling. Mine is the liquid cooling of nerves. Um, yours could be something different, but yeah, it will be the liquid cooling of some kind. And guys, this pistol is freaking insane. It is probably the best pistol in the game. I haven't used all of them, but, uh... Yeah, this one just absolutely shreds. I actually have two up there, two in my inventory right now that would qualify for, or that could have the best pistol. This one and then another one. But anyway, the damage is 730, and you can actually get some that have times two multipliers, and those will do a lot more damage, but you're going to tear through a lot of ammo. This is definitely a late game weapon when you have more invent when you have more uh, pistol SDUs unlocked. Um... But, uh, yeah, because you're going to go through a ton of ammo. And it is always cryo, which is nice for my new build, the Berserker Stabomancer. And the red text reads, works great until it doesn't, which is a reference, I believe, to actual liquid cooling on your PC, which, again, we're, I, I don't have a PC, but... I think it's just water cooled, which would sound like it works really well until it like freaks out and then you just, yeah, you lose your PC. But anyway, so to farm this, you're actually going to be looking for the obelisk on uh, Crackmaster Cove, which is a map that you won't come to if you just do the story mission. So it's actually just a uh, side mission thing. But anyway, this is the fast travel at the very start of the map. So you're going to call all the way here and then just keep hanging your right. And then you're is it gonna let me go under there. Okay, yeah. When you're under here, there's gonna be a little waterfall, and here's the obelisk right there. And you're gonna be killing the boss at the end of the obelisk. But I'll run over there and show you. But yeah, so the it's really up to you if you want this this version or the times two version. Um, I'm gonna say now I was using a times two level twenty seven one up at level forty. Now, I was on the medium difficulty, and but I was at Chaos 1, and it was still killing things. Like, effectively killing things. Um, so, it is definitely really good. You'll kill things in a hurry, and this is a hell of a bossing gun. But, yeah, okay, so here, you'll have this save station right here, so when you save quit, you'll spawn there, and then all you have to do is run through this, and there's your obelisk. And you will have to save quit to farm this. You can't just fast travel away. So let's get a... Let's activate the obelisk. It shouldn't take too terribly long. And as you can see, it is just absolutely shredding these guys. Now, granted, they are skeletons, so they are weak to cryo. And my build is definitely designed to benefit from critical hits and cryo. Okay, and once you kill enough of them, the boss will spawn, and it's Lycia Iron Rot. Is the, it's a, one of the coiled, and you have to kill her. She's really not that difficult, and she didn't drop it. Um, my experience with it is, I don't really know how to, what to say about the drop rate. Um, when I got the one on my story playthrough, I killed her twice and got it. Um, and then I tried again once I hit level 40, and couldn't do it and it took me farming or it took me getting more uh lucky dice and my loot luck is it uh my loot luck is at 7704 right now um so yeah keep that in mind when you're going after when you're going after it but i don't think that i don't think it's too hard to get but anyway, let's go back to Brighthoof, and I'll show off what the special ability is and why this is so good. Besides just its overall damage, fire rate, and the fact that it's cryo, which is probably the best element in the game.
Do, 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 do. Come on, fast travel. Uh, yeah, this is the build originally that I was doing Berserker Clawbringer, and the Clawbringer, I just... It, I wasn't taking enough points in it to, like, make it worthwhile, so I switched over to Stabomancer, became a Frost Shiver, and now we're now we're in business. Okay, so the special effect for this pistol. Um, normally, when you fire a Skulldugger COV-type pistol, you fire it, it heats up, heats up, and it overheats. And it breaks, which I think this actually has a pretty high overheat. But for this, as long as you're getting critical hits, it doesn't heat up at all. So theoretically, as long as you're getting critical hits, you can fire forever. See, I missed some crits there. But that also applies, so when we activate our From the Shadows, everything we hit's a crit. So we can just keep going, and keep going, and keep going, and keep going, keep going. You're really only restricted on your ammo, but you see why it eats so much. So, yeah, this is definitely a gun worth picking up. Um, you can't get it until late game, um, unless you get it as a world drop. Well, it's not really late game. I'd say about mid game. But uh, definitely, it's worth going and farming. Um... Yeah, this is probably my favorite pistol in the game, and I completely redid how I... I completely reworked this build specifically for this gun. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, um, and I would definitely say go check this gun out and get you one for yourself. Um, but yeah, this is Friar Chuck saying bye-bye.